All right, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr. Today we are talking about, are you enabled? Let's get enabled. All right, we're back and we are talking about basically enable mode. If you have a Cisco device, what's enable? What's user exec? Uh, and why should I care about it? First off, let's start with the two modes. Uh, so if I want to configure a device, I'm going to need to be in privilege mode or enable. Some people say, hey, do you have enable? Got enable, you know? Uh, so if I want to configure the device, I need to have that level of privilege, privilege mode or enable level access. And so when I log into a router by default, if I'm not using radius or tack act, something that's going to set my privilege level, which uh, when we talk about privilege levels, privilege mode is level 15. Um, in user exec mode, when you come in, you really have, you can't configure, you can do some show commands, but that's about it. So when you log into a router, typically, if it's only configured for password authentication, you're gonna type in the password, it's gonna give you a caret, which is that little doot doot. It's gonna give you that. You can do some show commands, but you can't configure the device. So in order to get into privilege mode, you're gonna type enable, and that should enable you for more privileges. It's gonna prompt you for another password you need to know the enable password. You're gonna type in the enable password and then you are gonna be at privileged level. If you want to configure that device, you could type conf t um, and, or you could type out the full word. But, um, but yeah, that's gonna get you in the configuration mode. So there's two modes, user exec, which is when you log in, you type in your password, privilege mode, you're gonna type enable, you're gonna type the enable password. So that's by default the easiest, most simplest way to look at it. Now, when we talk about ACS or AAA, all these other things that can authenticate you when you log in using username and password, you can actually push a privilege level to the device. So if I SSH to a router and or Telnet into a router, well, hopefully we're disabling all Telnet, but let's say we SSH into a, a, a router and the reason why you want to disable Telnet is because it's clear text. Um, so I SSH into a router, I type in my username, I type in my password. It goes to my AAA server, my uh, authentication server, and it says, hey, can you authorize me? And so it, it authenticates them, says, yep, that's the right username and password. I'm gonna authorize you to have privilege level 15. So that's automatically gonna put me in privilege mode. I don't need to type enable because I'm already enabled through my privilege level. And so then I could go and configure the devices. So that's kind of the next next step if you wanted to get away from just pure play password authentication and go to AAA, you can push those privilege levels down to the to the router. And so what that enables you to do is give contractors or somebody access to maybe read only and other people access to configure your devices and you can control that centrally through AAA. All right, so if I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more. Maybe it's about AAA, maybe it's about Telnet. You can watch some of our videos or you can leave a comment and you can like and subscribe and we will make a video for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next Back to the Basics. Peace.